Hey, what's up, guys? Mike here. Uh, today, I wanted to talk about uh, the Thick Film Resistors. I started on the uh, those 100 boards that I had, and that's about all I did. Uh, it was really tough, and then I figured that uh, I'll look them up just to check them out, and I found out that. Some of these are also thin film resistors which only have silver and they don't have uh, any of that, I can't even say, ruthelium, ruthelium, whatever the hell you call it. So I, I was like, man, should I keep going or should I stop? I try to separate the thin ones that I found and then I also found some other ones. Uh, these were I don't I'm not sure what they were but they they were I don't know if you can tell but they're black at the top and they had no number uh, they looked exactly like them except uh, no number they do they do have the white bottom part like uh, all these see how they have the white bottom parts so I wasn't too sure if I should keep going or not or just stop Let's see if I could find an example here they all have R so we know they're, they're resistors right but you don't know if they're thin or thick resistors or thick or thin film resistors I should say uh, well alright guys I wanted to uh, show you guys the difference between Example here, we have thick film, thin film, thin, um, we have some high voltage thick film, more thick here, <coughs> see, oh, probably shouldn't show that, um, oh well, uh, here, we'll start with the thick film, okay, so as we can see here, we've all seen these, the number, nice thin little, uh, or thick, I was going to say thin because it's flat, but, so, see this, this website here will give you all the data you need to know about, I guess like each type of these, uh, sisters here, so for example this one, which is a thick film chip resistor CT series. I don't know. Anyways, I'll show you the dimensions and what every layer of the resistors is made out of. So, for example, uh, what is that too? The bottom electrode made out of silver top electrode is made out of silver and lead I think that's lead, PD I'm not sure, I don't remember I took chemistry like 4 years ago, 5 years ago paid attention um, well, oh no, PD PB is lead right? look ok yeah, PB is lead PD is palladium so there's palladium in these too and then the edge electrode is nickel chromium. Get that right. Uh, the barrier layer, an I, which is what nickel. The external electrode is SN pin. And what everybody's looking for in these is that. I can't even say that. I messed it up earlier. Should I keep messing it up or not? I'll try it again, I guess. Uh, ruthenium. 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 <laughs> What's well, like a ruthenium oxide? O2. It has silver in it. So this is the main thing that people are going for is that ruthenium and the, the 
rest is just a covering that goes along the top just so it doesn't get exposed to like the weather and all that so okay that's a thick one now try this one thin one here I have a little bit of silver some more silver palladium and nickel chromium same thing as the other one nickel tin nickel chromium but we do not have any ruthenium at all so you see the difference there is that they don't have ruthenium in these they have the silver and everything else but they don't have that other precious metal that's what i was trying to say the difference between between them is that that element i mean you can put them all together I, I, why not here's another example that's ruthenium oxide again uh let's see here all right guys so i had to redo this uh my audio cut off halfway through my uh last recording so uh, okay let's see where did i leave off god oh, okay well i wanted to show y'all this too i don't think it was in the last part of the video but see uh these here are also tin a nickel well ta guys ta where are you or even a t oh tantalum how could i be that dumb so there's tantalum i would have never even thought of that no, like usually tantalum is just a tantalum capacitor, but see right there. Here, E A N. Oh, what happened to the picture? Put it over here. Tantalum, nitrogen, and nickel chromium, chromium resistive element. All in here. And this is a thin film. How about that? Tantalum in a thin film resistor. That's nice. All right, let's see what else do we got here. Well, let's see. Is this the same thing? No, this is another same picture, but a different type of resistor here. This is uh, tin. Nickel chromium, nickel. That's about it. Nothing special. Nickel. Okay. Uh, switch this. I already went over. Okay. But yeah, guys, uh, this website here is very helpful. Uh, you can check it out for yourself if you want. Uh, just don't tell them that I shared this valuable. Came across this. I was trying to look up the difference between thick and thin film resistors. These here, popular ones. And I was just looking it up stuff, and I came across this. So it really helped me to understand that there's not only thick film resistors, there's also thin film resistors are completely made out of different things they both have silver in them but sometimes the thin don't even have silver at all it's tin or tin and copper or a mixture of uh what is that chromium so yeah guys if you want to check it out leave a link in the description on the bottom or you can just google that i guess but I'll leave a link anyways, just so that the other content. But anyways, guys, uh, continue the video, and I'll see you in a little bit. See, I uh, can't really tell. Well, anyways, let's see if I can zoom into that. All right, so here's a board with a bunch of those, uh, either thick or thin. 
I mean, you would probably have to look up every single number to determine if they're a thick film or a thin film. I'm, I'm not going to do all that. So I, what I'm probably going to do is just take them all off and just throw them all in the same bin. I mean, I probably won't even sell it. I'll just, you know, collect it up so I can have a little bit of a thick and thin resistors. So yeah, they come out of these here. Let's see if I can get a little closer. All right, I'll try to hold it steady. Uh, right there. So you see all these? Where's my finger? Right here. These are the ones we're going after. Nearly like little flat resistors. But like I said, we don't know if they're. Uh, or thin. I'm pretty sure like on a motherboard the ones on here they're I'm guessing they're gonna all be thick I mean it's higher end electronics so all those there and then you have a series uh, I can't even see that but those are like multiple ones put in together so sort of like an array uh, let's see can't even see yeah so it's going to be see it has a resistor and then nice little number and they're flat but I don't depopulate my motherboard so that one's staying like that Let's see if we can find some. Hey, here's one from a TV. TV board. You see these here? Those are it too. Those are just in an array. So it's a bunch of them inside of one. And then there's some more there. So yeah, I've already removed all the MLCCs from all these boards and all the tantalum capacitors. I think that's where we left off last time. I said I was going to remove these, but like I said, I got started. I took, let me focus that. So I took this many off, those boards, and then I realized that, wait a minute, started doing a little research and I realized that there was two types of them. One with silver and one with rithelium, 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 whatever. So, like I said, I'm just going to throw them all together. I also saw that the, the method of processing this to get that stuff out is patented. So, I mean, as long as they don't know, right? But I'll probably just take them all out. Uh, put them in a bin and I guess hold on to them like everything else that I'm doing so far I, I'd stop trying to process it, it takes too long oh, I just threw them everywhere it takes too long and the chemicals are just you know I don't like messing with it I wear a mask and gloves and all that and then what if you miss out on a certain material or something you know you, I mean, gold pins, they're easy. You do the aqua regia or whatever you want to do. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to show you all that, that I did start on the uh, thick film resistors, but they're also thin in there. Or they're also thin film resistors in there, so I'm just going to bunch them all up together. Um, yeah, so i also been depopulating my boards with this, but... I noticed that it, it's probably not as healthy as just using an air chisel or something because you, know, you know, take off the solder and then the uh, the soldering starts to, to smoke and then there's all kinds of bad stuff in there if it has lead and all that so yeah that didn't go according to plan so I stopped doing that but yeah guys I'm gonna try to do all the boards so that way I can get all those boards out of the way.
take all the chips off of them and uh, then we can start doing some other fun stuff so I just wanted to give you all a heads up on those thick and thin film resistors I, I just put them all together oh well so until the next video guys I'll see y'all later